this is our smallest dry cell which we are calling it HSL1500 it's very very compact extremely compact actually it's 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 6.5 centimeters now we are going to power it up of course there is longer bolts on this dry cell so you can use them for installation to mount it on the vehicle there is already electrolyte in the system Okay, now you can release some power to the dry cell. This is the hose which is filling up the dry cell. This is the hose which is returning the produced gas back to the reservoir where it will separate from the liquid. Okay, we increase the voltage. 13 volts almost, 14, 15. 14.79 volts at the moment. We have 15 amperes. And now you can see how it's producing gas. This is very, very compact dry cell. So you can find always a place to mount it near the engine of your vehicle. This small beast is producing 0.6 liters of gas per minute. It has only six plates. One is positive, one negative and four plates are neutral but it can reach up to 20 amps maximum and it's usually installed in vehicles below 1.5 liter engine it's for small cars with smaller engines you can see how it's producing gas for its size it's very good And if you like, usually in the vehicle we are using this dynamic PWM. This is one of our inventions. It's a very compact device, digital device, which is controlling the whole process of the production of gas based on the RPMs of your vehicle. So it's not constant current PWM, it's dynamic PWM actually. You can buy it separately from the kit. We have two models of this dynamic PWM. One of them is for petrol injection engines. The other one is for diesel engines. Maybe you can see here the pro production of gas, which is which we are showing on, from this connector, which we are usually using to inlet the gas to the air intake of, of your vehicle okay thank you and that's all for today if you like this video you can you can click like share it subscribe to our channel thank you very much for your attention and time and have a good day